going to tell us all the story. So get your pillar, get your heat, get your blanket, and cuddle up close and have a nice story for the evening. Go ahead, sweep. It's story time. Teddy White seems to have been as clever a cat as ever. When Rat catching in a pair of soft-soled shoes, she always knew just where a mouse would peep out of the wall, and she had her soft sharp paw on him before he had time to know that he was not alone in the room. She knew how to catch a nice breakfast for herself and her children. A trick I will teach you, my dears. When the spring comes, she used to lie quite quietly among the ivy on the wall, and then take the baby birds out of the nest when the parent birds had gone to the grub shop. Teddy White was very clever, as I said. So clever that presently she was not satisfied with being at the very top of the cat profession. Cats have more sense than humans, of course, she said to herself. But still there are some things one might learn from them. I must watch and see how they do things. So next morning when the cook gave Teddy White her breakfast, she noticed that cook poured the milk out of a jug into a saucer. That afternoon Teddy felt thirsty, but instead of putting her head into the jug and drinking in the usual way, you know she tilted up the jug to pour the milk out as she had seen the cook do. Cat paws are great for catching rats, mice and birds, but terrible to hold big brown jugs. The nasty jug fell to the ground and broke itself. Just to spy me, I do believe said Tabby, and the milk was spilled all over the floor. Now how on earth could that jug have been broken? said Cook, when she came in. It must have been the cat, said the kitchen maid, and she was quite right, but nobody believed her. Then Tabby White noticed that humans slept in big soft cushioned wet beds, instead of sleeping on the kitchen hearth rug, or in the barn, like cats. So she said to her children one evening, my dears, we are going to move into a new house. And the kittens were delighted. And they all went upstairs very quietly. And crept into the very best human bed. But unfortunately that bed had been made ready for a human uncle to sleep in. And when he found the cats there. He threw boots at them till they fled scared with fright to the ends of their pretty tails. And next morning he told the lady of the house that horrid cats had been in his bed and he vowed that he would not stay where such things were possible. Teddy White was very glad because no lady can wish for the visits of a person who throws boots at her. But the last and greatest effort Teddy White made to imitate human manners was one Saturday night. She saw the human child have its bath with hot water, pink soap, dry towels, and much fussing, and she said to herself, why should I waste hours every day in washing my children with my little white paws and my little pink tongue? When this human child can be made clean in ten minutes with this big bath. If I had more time I could learn to be clever. And I should end by being the most wonderful cat in all the world. So she said. Teddy White waited till she heard the last of nurse's steps on the stairs below. And then she put both her cat children into the tub. And washed them with rose scented soap and a turkey sponge. At first they thought it very good fun. But presently the soap got in their eyes and they were frightened of the sponge. And they cried, mewing piteously, to be taken out. I don't know how she could have done it. I couldn't have treated a kitten of mine like that. When she took them out, Tabby tried to dry them with the soft towel. But somehow cat skin is not so easy to dry as child skin. And the little cats began to shiver and moan. Oh mother, we were so nice and warm. And now we are so cold. Why is it? What have we done? Were we naughty? Tabby White said to her children, My darlings, I was wrong. I was a silly old cat. No, purred the kittens. Dear mother, you are always the best of cats. Tabby kissed them both, for of course anyone would be pleased that her children should think her the best of cats. But in her heart she knew well enough how silly she had been. Then she set about washing the kittens, not with pink soap and white towel this time but with white paws and pink tongue in the good old-fashioned way. Hey, a quick reminder. Click the like button. I know you want to. And if you know what's good for you, subscribe. It's the button below. See you next time.